Hi, Math Wizards. My name is Dr. Val. This is me. And today we're going to be taking a look at how to play the tens multiplication game. To play this game, we're going to be using a deck of cards. And you can either use a deck of cards that you have somewhere around your house, or you can make your own using the materials for family FactsWise resources that are located in the box below this video. Today, I'm going to be playing this game with my grandson, Cal. There's me, and there's Cal. When he was your age, he was learning his math facts playing this game and doing many other things that are in the Family FactsWise resources. So, here we go. This is how you play it. The first thing you do is you stack all of your cards after you've shuffled them face down, just like you see here in the picture. And then when it's your turn, you flip over the top card of the pile. So it's my turn right now. And I go ahead and flip over the top card and it turns out to be a three. So my job is to show Cal what it means to have three times 10, three groups of 10. And I'm gonna do that with a number rack. You can find this number rack on the Math Learning Center website. And that link will be in the box below as well. So as you can see, I've shown Cal my three groups of 10. And I can even explain to him that I know that that's 30, three times 10 is the same as 30 because two rows of 10 I know is 20 and one more row is 10 more, which makes 30. That's one way that I can remember that three times 10 is 30. Now I need to keep score. So on the score sheet, I write down that I got three times 10 and that that total 30. The product, we say, was 30. So now it's Cal's turn. And Cal turns over the next card at the top of the pile, and he gets a 6. So he goes ahead on the number rack and shows six groups of 10. And he explains that the way he knows that six groups of 10 is 60 is because he can see five groups of 10 and he knows that's 50. So one more group of 10 is 60. Now I thought of it a little bit differently. I thought about the idea that three groups of 10 is 30. I already knew that. And if I take another three groups of 10, that's 30 more. So 30 plus 30 gave me 60. So now we have two different ways to know that six groups of 10 is 60. Maybe you can think of another way. Cal goes ahead and writes down his score, 6 times 10 equals 60. And we go ahead and play a few more rounds. You can play as many rounds as you want. When we're done, we went ahead and added up our scores. I got 130 and Cal got 210. He definitely won. But that wasn't really the most important part of the game. The most important part of the game was that we were trying to learn our facts, our times 10 facts, so that we could become fluent with them. So as you play the game, really think more about how you're learning the facts, how you're going to be able to remember them tomorrow and a week from now year from now. Now, what do I mean by becoming fluent with a fact? What I mean is that you're fluent with a particular fact when you get the answer right without needing to count or skip count and within a reasonable amount of time, like 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, that's three seconds, or maybe even four seconds. I hope you have a good time playing this goal one multiplication game, 
and a good time becoming more and more fluent with your facts and that you become more facts wise.